today the country faces its greatest ever energy challenges. But how should the government be dealing with these issues? Climate change, I guess, would be uh, the big one, yeah. Once you accept the premise that fossil fuels are the biggest single culprit to our climate, then the nuclear debate becomes a little bit more important, more pressing, and perhaps a little bit more rational. Climate change has influenced government thinking because it's, it is a, you know, a top priority for this government, uh, even to the point where it's passed legislation committing us to an 80% cut in greenhouse gases by 2050, the first country in the world to have a legal commitment to fighting climate change. People are now looking towards having cleaner, more efficient uh, energy and uh, nuclear power actually fits the bill. It ticks uh, a lot of the boxes that we need to do to, in, uh, to reduce uh, greenhouse gas emissions. The reliance on oil and gas from other countries. We're going to have very serious energy problems. Is there going to come a point where the national grid actually shuts down? The key energy issues at the moment are, are we going to have enough energy in the future to supply our needs? We do not want to be beholden to Russia and to Middle Eastern countries in the future for all our energy supplies. We want to ensure that we've got our own secure and efficient uh, energy supplies in this country and nuclear power actually fits that bill. I think that with the right conditions we need to revisit nuclear power not just from an economic point of view but also from the base load point of view. Uh, there are questions of supply with regard to uranium as well but that's the dialogue we need to have now. There's no point in pretending we can simply walk away from nuclear power without giving it a second thought. And my advice to those who simply turn their heads against it is don't be quite that sure that you're right because I was quite sure I was right and I've changed my view. There's so much energy we need in the world and I just don't think there is an easy option. Any government that says, right, we're going to have 100% nuclear or 100% wind turbines is barking up the wrong tree. For people who say it's morally wrong to build a nuclear power station, I'd say, well, well how can you make that kind of statement? Where is the moral debate here? Uh, surely it's morally wrong for us to release uh, so many hydrocarbons into the air. Nuclear is a vital component of a balanced energy mix. Um, we need renewables. We will need to burn some hydrocarbons. Um, but we need a very, very significant component of nuclear, otherwise we will get nowhere near our 2050 target on greenhouse gases.